We know that the skin can tell us so much about our overall health. Are we hydrated enough? Do we have issues with our vascular system? I mean, and so on and on. Another thing that our skin can tell us is if we have insulin resistance or not. On today's video, I am gonna talk about the most common skin conditions found with insulin resistance. Before we do that, if you guys are enjoying my channel, please consider subscribing. Number one is gonna be Inkanthosis nigricans, poorly defined brown to black hybrid hyperpigmentation found on our folds. When we're talking about folds, we're talking about under the armpits, around the neck, ear, groin, forehead. Those are all places you can see Inkanthosis nigricans, and it's a very alarming sign that you have insulin resistance or even diabetes at that point. Number two is acne. Acne is a huge symptom. With insulin resistance, we are producing more insulin, but we become, we decrease our insulin sensitivity. We're producing more and more insulin because our body is not using the insulin correctly. So we're producing more insulin and we're also producing something called IGF-1, which is insulin-like growth hormone. And that is actually the connection between why we form acne. So pretty interesting on how that works. Another one is psoriasis. We know psoriasis is very common and there are different forms of psoriasis, but basically this skin condition is that it causes a rash that can be itchy, very scaly, patches commonly found in the knees, elbows, trunk, or even scalp. Psoriasis can be very painful and it can actually interfere with your quality of life. It can you know, interfere with lack of sleep, all of those which we know both pain, discomfort, poor quality of life, further increased blood sugar levels. So of course, we wanna make sure that we're getting treated for psoriasis and we're managing it with a dermatologist at that point, and of course, keeping your blood sugars within the target range. You know, insulin resistance can also lead to something called hirsutism, which is unwanted hair growth that is very dark, very coarse, and it can grow in unwanted areas like the face, the chest, and the back. So this because too much insulin production can actually interfere with our androgen levels and when our androgen hormones are off we can produce something called testosterone which normally women have very low testosterone but when the androgen levels are higher we can actually overproduce too much testosterone and for that reason we grow we develop male-like things like hirsutism these are some of the more common skin conditions found with insulin resistance I hope you guys are enjoying my channel. Please comment below and let me know of other skin conditions that you know or that you may have had with insulin resistance. I'll see you all next time.